And welcome live inside the historic Hobart Arena in downtown Troy, Ohio. JT Zabo joining you as we get set for game one of a three-game weekend here inside the comfy confines of the historic Hobart Arena as part of the 2022 Miami Valley Freeze Tournament. And again, a lot glad to have everybody along for the ride here this afternoon for a little matinee hockey as both teams entering their first game of the weekend in what is a three-game round robin invitational here. The first time the Trojans have hosted the Miami Valley Freeze post-COVID, the last time was in 2019, right here before everything went awry. And so the Trojans look a little different this time. A full roster as opposed to the 2019 squad as the program has been developing and they are the road team for this opening faceoff in their alternate red uniforms. Play Eagles in their home white with the gold and green trim. As this one forced in, Gavin Burris puts it deep into the corner. Played around again, here come the Eagles out to center at the Trojans line. Played again, they'll work it deep inside. Clay territory. In with a head of steam is Lombardo. Gets a little help on the Dashers as they'll put it on the side and off the high glass. This one wrapped back around before it clears into the corner. Here's Lombardo. Up the Dashers, but not out. It's out to center it comes. Clay will move that one out inside Trojan territory before it squirts out into the center and is gobbled up by Burkhardt who quickly fires it 180 feet all the way down and both clubs will get their first line changes we're a minute in icing signaled and icing is the call and that'll bring the face off back inside the clay zone with 1356 to go if you're just joining us here on troy ohio tv for some matinee hockey on your saturday afternoon this is game one of a two-game doubleheader today. The Trojans will be back on the ice tonight at 7 o'clock in primetime as they'll host the Elder Panthers from Cincinnati. We'll also have that game for you live right here on Troy Ohio TV. But if you're looking for something to do tonight, tickets are just $5 and all students are free courtesy of the Troy High School Hockey Booster Association. So we'd like to thank them for that wonderful Holiday gift for our student athletes and student families. And so they'll bring that one back down low. Out from around the corner, playing it on the side of the cage. Cleared up the dashers. Back to help out is Cotty as he'll take the hit. Smith couldn't get much on it. Clay walks out in front. Big save made. Rebound. Loose puck on the side of the cage is finally knocked away. And this one makes it back to the point. Sends it rink wide. Is picked up by Kerr to drive. And Sexton quickly fires it around the boards, but not out. Kurt gives chase for the Eagles. As there's Cameron Smith, played it up the wing, but not out again. Trojans hemmed inside their own zone a little bit here on this play. Even strength hockey with 12.40 to go here in this first period. Still scoreless between the Eagles and the Trojans to kick off their respective portions here of the Miami Valley Freeze as the Trojans. Keeping it back inside the zone. Faking out the robotic camera as play continues. Out through neutral ice, catching the Trojans on a line change. Puts it up in a save made by Carver. A close call there for the Trojans as that rink-wide pass nearly stymied. Finally is out through center ice as it's picked up. Now inside Trojan territory, big hit there as Gavin Burris throws on the brakes out from behind the net and around the Dashers. Hosting it up the wing, this one's signaled for icing and icing is the call. And that'll stop the clock with 11.47 now to go here in this first period. And the faceoff is you see coming back inside the Trojan zone on the stick side of goaltender Noah Carver is in to take the faceoff. 
That one won back into the near corner as that centering feed. Nobody was there, and a big help there from Lombardo, who was able to get a head man. Now two wide at the line, works it in. Forcing it ahead. Right back to Campbell at the point. There's a shot, hit off the high glass behind the net. As this one playing again. Finally cleared out by the Eagles. Out inside Trojan territory, dangling in between the defense as Berghardt got burned. A rebound saved by Carver. Loose puck still bouncing away. And the Trojans are able to work it out to neutralize just momentarily. Here's Wenning, digging for it along the Dashers. Still battling for it in front of the penalty box. That's finally knocked loose by the Eagles. And it's Smith back to play it around the Dashers. Had a little brother. And out to center. 10 minutes and 43 seconds to go is a giveaway at the line. Forcing it back inside the Eagles zone. That centering feed intercepted at the last second. And Cowell is able to send it back inside the Trojans' end. Here's Berghardt. Off the Dashers. That's going to work it all the way back inside Eagle territory. Playing it out from behind their net. There's Taylor off the glass. That one ahead. Trojans still battling at the line before this one clears all the way down. No icing on the play. And so they'll do that one again. Back inside the zone. That one's going to be whistled down. And it looks like an offside's on the play. Now with 10 minutes even to go. And so right off the draw, this one won by Carson Smith, but not out. As play now caroms the other way. Big hit back inside the zone. Up from behind the net. There's the breakout attempt for the Trojans. Out through center ice, puts it in. Goaltender will make the save. And there won't be any rebound on that attempt with under 10 minutes now to go here in this first period. Still scoreless between the Clay Eagles and the Troy Trojans. If you're just joining us here on Troy, Ohio TV. Face off inside the Eagle zone. One back. Now for Campbell. Brady Campbell at the point of shot. Hit with a high stick in front, but no call. As that one bounced away at the last second and nearly redirected back into the net. But the Trojans are reset now. On this centering feed. Loose puck out in front. Save made. Rebound back on the half boards. And now here come the Eagles back the other way. Head of steam across the Trojans' line. Shot, save made by Carver. He'll bounce across the crease. As the Trojans trying to get it out of their zone and finally do as the Eagles will pump it right back in and tag up for a line change. Fast action there end to end here with nine minutes to go here in the first period. Back at the point, that one held in. Trojans just throw it into some skates but not out as Sexton wraps it back around for Bernhardt off the dashers for Wenning at the point and held in. Big hit there. May have gotten away with an elbow as there's a high shot. Knocked away by Carver at the last second as they're working on the half boards left wing side. Hit with a high stick. Play continues as it was touched up by Troy. And now here comes Gavin Burris all by himself. He gets rode off into the sunset, but that second drive missing the net just barely before the Trojans pump that one right back inside the corner. Held on at the point by Sexton. Top of the circle, a drive as that one was just deflected away. Rebound. Again controlled by the Trojans as Smith takes an awkward bounce into the boards. No call and play continues. Across the line. Stopped away. The Trojans with the tempo here as Icing is going to be waved off on the play. Hit up at the line and finally cleared as there's Condi. The force it right back in. Trojans tag up and continue pressuring as there's Ian Francis not. On the four check. Played back out to center ice, and the Trojans regrouping inside the Eagles' territory. 7.40 and counting here in this first period. Very entertaining afternoon of hockey thus far. If you're just joining us here on Troy Ohio TV, streaming on Facebook and YouTube, and, of course, on demand at TroyOhio.tv. 
They'll force this around. The defensive shot. And Carver the save, but he wasn't quite sure where it was. As there's Francis not across the line. Throws it into the slot. Shot from Smith. Paddled a sign at the last second, and now the Eagles work that back into their corner on the breakout attempt. Big hit at center ice. Bouncing puck high up into the air, finally gloved down by the Eagles. And out to the Trojans line as both clubs finish their wholesale changes. 6.50 to go here, and counting in the first period. On this outlet pass, stretch across. No icing signaled, or will it? As just in the nick of time, they're going to call that one for icing. And icing the call now with 6.41 to go. Here in this opener, faceoff is going to be stick side of Carver. As they say, there was some debris in the net. We'll try this one again. In to take the draw for the Trojans is Gabby Path. And they'll control it out from the trapezoid behind the net. Throws it around the dashers. Held on at the point, or was it, as that's going to meander its way back into enemy territory before they send a stretch pass. No icing signal as it's played by Carver, and wisely so, he's just going to hold on to it. And that stops the clock now with 6 minutes and 17 seconds to go here in this first period. Some fresh legs out for both hockey clubs as Gavin Burris will step in to take the draw for the Trojans. As this one's won back by the Eagles on the half boards. Controlling, impossible angle, rebound, hit the post, waved off, and the rebound scores. Third time's the charm as Luke Tiedemeyer was banging away at it, finally got the third one in. And so are they going to call it a goal? No, they're not going to call it a goal. We're getting signal up here that they're going to wave it off, that the goaltender had it. And so a very lucky break for the Trojans to keep this a scoreless hockey game. They're going to say the goaltender had frozen the puck before it went in. And so they're right back at it. Impossible angle shot right back off the end boards. There's the outlet pass for the Trojans. Stopped at the line, forcing it back on the far side. Laying it at the benches where they were able to keep it in. There's the stretch pass out to center ice and finally inside Clay territory is going back behind his own net as Seeger. He'll work it up the near wing, but it's stripped away by the Trojans. There's a big shot, bounced away in front. Loose puck finally across the crease as they'll work it deep into the near wing corner. Players take a tumble as they'll battle for it. There's a shot by Burris, turned aside at the last moment. And so the Eagles regrouping on the half boards before they'll send it back around their own net. And finally up the near side. Wholesale changes for the Trojans as Sexton goes back to play it. He'll send it rink wide. Now for Schumann and up the boards, making sure there's no too many men on the ice. Pedally is now three wide across the line for the Trojans. Turned aside. Couldn't get much on it, and so they'll play it back inside the near zone, forcing that bouncing puck away at the last second. And again, in front of the benches, still trying to control inside the clay territory. One touch pass and across the Trojan line it go before that one stopped away at the last second. Big hit on the Dashers. They'll work it back out to center. There's Francis Knott. Turns it aside, picked up by Kurt. He'll get it out to neutralize. And touch it off sides, but play continues in front of the benches. Still with a loose puck. Big hit there. Finally turned aside by the Trojans. 
Centering feed now for Francis Knott. Half boards, near wing side. That goes back into the near corner. Here's the centering pass. Campbell holds on momentarily at the line, or does he as they say he did not? Three minutes and change counting here. In this first period, still scoreless as the Eagles had one goal waved off. Trojans have yet to light the lamp. They'll put it back on the side, stopped by Carver, and he will wisely elect to hold on. And that'll stop the clock now with three minutes and 21 seconds to go. Trying to get some offense going here. Trojans trail the shot category, eight to six. As right off the draw, the net's knocked off the post. And a little bit of incidental contact, I believe. And so right off the faceoff, that one won by the Eagles. At the point, but picked up by the Trojans. Here's a fast break, Eli Wenning. All by himself, shoots and scores! Eli Wenning on the breakaway makes it a 1-0 hockey game with 3.08. We'll go downstairs for the official word from... Crawford getting a helper. And so this one makes it all the way down to Carver who will hold on. Jack Crawford getting the assist on the goal. Eli Wenning picking up the game's first goal and a beautiful breakaway goal at that. As the draw one back into the near side corner. Up the boards, still trying to dig it free. Dangling down low is Van Ersen. Sends it back into the corner. Cycle again, Van Ersen trying to get a shot. Couldn't get much on it. As that one swatted away and right back to the point. Here's a shot right on from Seeger. Rebound, loose box, stolen. And now here come the Trojans. Out to center, Brady Smith takes the hit but gets it deep inside the Eagles zone. Two minutes and 10 seconds to go on this breakout attempt. Now here come the Eagles. Head of steam, three wide across the Trojans lot. Here's a backhander. Loose puck knocked away by Ian Francis, not in the slot. And that'll work its way back into the far corner. Laid on the wall. Battling for it, here's a shot. Point blank into the breadbasket of Noah Carver and the junior goaltender makes the save with under two minutes to go here in this first period. One nothing as we just get the scoring update. Indeed, they will rule that a good goal from Wenning. And so one nothing, Troy over Clay early, thanks to Eli Wenning's breakaway goal, assisted by the smoking cannon himself, Jack Crawford. Battling down low out from behind the net. This one's gonna wrap around. Hit on the half boards, but finally picked up by the Trojans. And now here's Gavin Burris with a head of steam. Centering feed, trying to get a piece of Lombardo. Not enough as that loose puck knocked away at the last second. And now here come the Clay Eagles back the other way. Two wide across the Trojans line. Backhander floating into the glove of Carver. And he elects to just hold on to it with one minute and 17 seconds to go here in what has become a very entertaining first period of hockey here as the Trojans open up their portion of the Miami Valley freeze.
Again today, a double header is that shot right from the point saved by Carver. Trojans back in action in prime time tonight right here as they will host the Elder Panthers at 7 o'clock. We'll have that game for you right here live on Facebook and on YouTube. I know a lot of people enjoy putting up the games on the big TV through our YouTube channel through a smart TV as well as those on the go with a phone or tablet on Facebook and they'll work that one back in loose puck knocked away reaching for it was Smith and so they'll continue to pressure at the line big body check knocked away as the Trojans dumping that one right back inside the clay territory 32 seconds and counting here in the opener They'll work that one back at the point. Eagles with the puck, over skating the puck momentarily, finally makes it back inside the Troy line and that'll give the Eagles a chance to change as they forecheck out through center ice. One touch pass and over the Trojans line, bouncing puck, nearly got a piece of it, but they'll throw it back into the corner with six F seconds to go. Going back out to center as the horn will blow. As one period in the books, the Trojans holding on to a 1-0 lead after 15 minutes of, of hockey here. We will step aside when we come back. We'll have second period action from Hobart Arena after this. Welcome back inside the historic Hobart Arena. JT Zabo rejoining you as we get set for period number two between the Clay Eagles and the Troy Trojans. As we are just underway, Trojans firing that one deep inside the Clay zone. So this one comes all the way back. Here come the Eagles inside Trojan territory, wrapped around the Dashers and all the way down as no icing will be signaled. If you're just joining us, the Trojans holding on to a one goal lead thanks to a breakaway goal from Eli Wenning. As there's a shot, hit a body in front, loose puck knocked away, and now here come the Eagles out to center inside the Trojans' end. Scooped up by Lombardo. First game of a two game doubleheader today. The Trojans will be back in action tonight at seven o'clock against Elder. As there's a breakaway the other way, there's Gavin Burris trying to bury it over to Lombardo, but nobody was there in time as Lombardo bobbled it on a good effort to try and maintain control. It just wasn't enough. And now here come the Eagles back the other way. Played by Carver, and he's just going to hold on to it. And that stops the clock now with 13.52 to go here in the second period. And again, we talked about the Miami Valley Freeze returning for the first time post-COVID. It was back in 2019, the Trojans last hosted an Invitational. And right from the draw, that one got a piece of Noah Carver. They'll wrap it around, shot wide. Rebound back to the near side. Momentarily intercepted. 
Williams out to center. There's Ian Francis Knott. Throws on the brakes. He's got Carson Smith behind him. Lost the puck in his footing. And so he's forced back to the corner. On this breakout attempt. Big hit. Knocked away by Sexton. He'll force it back inside his own zone. Has that one again around the Dashers to the far wing side. Played again. There's a shot right on. Turned aside. Rebound back on the far wing. There's a shot again. Knocked back to the point and out they come to center ice. Stretching across the line, give and go. Nearly got a piece of it before this one's picked back up by Smith. And quickly set rink wide now for Lombardo a shot. Turned back into the corner as the Trojans will finish their line change. Stretch pass out to neutral ice, intercepted at the line. Forced back by Lombardo as he'll send it inside the clay zone and finish his line change as that wrapped around. Campbell blows a tire but holds on to the puck at the point. As that one sent right back in behind the net. Tangling out of the trapezoid. They'll wrap that one ahead. Scooped up by the Eagles. And out to center they go. Here's Minnick across the line in on side. As he got stick checked away at the last second but picks up his own rebound. Centering feed between the wickets a drive and a paddle save made by Carver. As Gabby Path playing it back on the far boards. Finally iced all the way down and icing the call with 11.45 to go. And that'll bring the faceoff back inside the Trojans end. As you see Noah Carver right there making that impressive save with the waffle bar off the shot. And right off the draw, picked up by the Eagles. Sends it back to the point. There's a drive, wide, left, rebound, loose puck, knocked away by Paff, and she's able to get it out to neutralize. Playing it for Harris. Luke Harris battling down low into the corner. Still trying to control. At the point, tried to pick the corner, and a good effort there from Harris, just a bit too high. And so the Eagles. Forcing that one all the way down to the Trojans line. Picked up by Sexton. There's a long icing play. Icing's going to be waved off, though. As back to chase it is Loans, who sends it back around the boards for the Eagles, but not out as it's held on at the line momentarily. Here come the Eagles across the Trojans line, battling with Path. Down low into the near corner. Picked up by Harris. He'll send it rink wide. And the Trojans dumping it inside. Harris will get his own rebound, forcing it back into the near corner. They'll play it around the Dashers. Here's Will Barnes. Back on the far side. Up to the point now for Sexton. Holds onto it. Sexton a shot high off the end boards. Rebound back for Luke Harris, who sends it around the Dashers. Smith couldn't get it, fresh from the bench. Down low, it's Carson Smith battling for it along the Dashers and finally cleared out by the Eagles momentarily before the Trojans will finish their line change and pump that one deep inside the clay territory. Here's Carson Smith behind the net. Battling for it, he'll give it up to big brother Brady Smith as they'll work it up to the point. Here's Sexton, playing double duty, gets it back for Smith, puts the corner and scores! A 2-0 hockey game thanks to the candidating blast of Brady Smith. Well, we'll go downstairs to Mr. Lombardo for the call.
And as you hear, Sexton's going to get an assist on that goal to make it 2 nothing. Trojans trailing in shots on goal, though, 14 to 10. But up on the big board where it counts, 2 nothing. On this centering pass. Sent back to the point. There's a shot, turned aside, rebound, knocked away at the last moment and covered up by Carver. And the netminder gets the required accolades from the hometown crowd. It's the junior making two big saves right there. And the Trojans will get some fresh legs out on the ice for this faceoff. And right off the draw, this one played by the Eagles. There's a shot. Easily held on to by the netminder. And with 9.06 to go here in the middle period. Faceoff remains inside the Trojans' end. Stick side of Carver, but won by the Eagles cleanly back to the point. Under pressure, now from Wedding. He'll hold on to it for you. Send it back out inside Clay territory. Little help from Gavin Burris. And now Cameron Lombardo going back to chase. Inside the Clay zone. Eagles out to center ice. Holding on the line to stay onside. They'll force that in with a big hit on Schumann. He gets his revenge back into the corner as that side shot. It's going to be held on to on the side of the cage by Carver. And so we'll do that face off again inside the Trojans end. As you see referee Bill Peck right there. Skating in is Grady Minnick. He's going to face off for the Eagles but loses it to Smith as that bouncing puck on the half boards and held in. Right back out from behind the net. Puts on the brakes, easily stick checked away by Smith as he'll work on this low cycle, eight minutes and 15 seconds, a shot right on, played by Carver. And Carver seems to be dialed in to the second period and is making those saves to keep this a two nothing Trojan lead is right off the draw, glove down. That bounced out of his mitt, and so the Trojans helping out back into the near corner. Dangerous centering feed, though. A high shot off the glass, knocked away. Thankfully by Berghardt at the last moment. As the Eagles keeping it in on side. Good effort at the line, forcing it back down low. Under eight minutes to go. So play this one around. Now for the Trojans. Intercepted. And now the Eagles, one-on-one -on, -one on Carver, making the stretched out save. Rebound knocked away. Back out to center ice with a good headman effort from Smith. Now he's all alone. Here's Brady Smith, pips the corner and scores! That's two for Smith. And that makes this a three nothing hockey game. And the face off taken by Gabby Paff at center. We'll go downstairs to Anthony Lombardo for the official announcement. Berghardt gets a helper as there was a shot from Scalise, turned aside. Now bouncing puck all the way down inside Trojan territory. Icing is going to be signaled and icing the call with 6.53 to go here in the middle period. As the faceoff is going to come back inside Clay territory. Fresh legs for both hockey clubs on this stoppage. 
And then to take the draw. Gavin Burris holding on to it between the circles of drive. That one makes its way back at the point. A big body check there by Sexton. Knocks the puck loose momentarily before the Eagles blowing a tire out from behind the net and the puck wrapped around to the far side. Still up on the half boards. That finally knocks its way out to neutral ice and forcing the Eagles to retreat back inside their own zone. In front of the benches. A little bit of a slash, goes uncalled. Play continues as they're battling for it down low. Here's the centering feed, intercepted by Sexton at the line before it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll set up shop at the point. Knocked away again by Gavin Burris at the tail end of his shift. He's going to get a line change. Under six minutes now to go. And as you see, both benches right there. back inside the Trojan zone. And so right off the draw, this one makes it all the way back down inside Clay territory. So play it on the Dashers. And ahead. That one bounces away. Shoot, scores! And if that was Smith, that should be the hat trick. We'll go downstairs for the official word, but that should be a hat trick for Smith. And indeed it is. Brady Smith getting the hat trick to make it a 4-0 hockey game, but here come the Eagles streaking across the line. Delayed penalty coming. A delayed penalty on the play with five minutes and 14 seconds to go. It looks like Smith is gonna be able to celebrate his hat trick in the penalty box. As he's in the penalty box now for a two minute minor, and that'll give the Eagles the first power play of the game. And so right from the draw. Hooking is the call against Smith. And that one's picked up by Lombardo. Here's a big head of steam and nearly rubbed off the puck at the last moment. He's able to get it back to the point. Still with control. There's Lombardo between the circles. Save made, rebound. Picked back up by the Eagles. Trojan short-handed, getting two quick quality shots on goal as that one meanders inside Trojan territory. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go as that one's going to be sent all the way down. Played by the Eagles on this outlet attempt. Out to center ice and across the Trojans line. There's a shot. Rebound just misses the empty net. And another penalty coming to the call. This one looks like it's going to be going against the Eagles. Four minutes and 14 seconds to go, or is it? And it looks like it's going to be Cooper Sexton in the box for tripping. And so it's a minor penalty to Sexton. And now the Trojans coughing up a two-man advantage to the Eagles for the first time tonight. Still set up on a centering feed. Gives it back, top of the circle, a drive. That one hit off a stick in front. 
Down low, forcing it into the corner. Off the centering pass, trying to wrap around stuff. Knocked away by Carver, and the Trojans able to clear. Back to play it out of their own zone. On this breakout attempt. Had a steam out through center ice. Here's the shot, rings off the iron, no goal! They're gonna say it was no goal, and that's the second time a goal has been waved off for the Eagles is now the Trojans again shorthanded, forcing that one deep inside the zone. Just about ready for Smith's penalty to expire. It finally does. High stick signaled, and it's gonna be a high stick violation against the Trojans. Now with three minutes and nine seconds to go. And it looks like the Looks like the faceoff is going to stay inside the Eagle zone. There's the centering pass. Knocked away. Bouncing pucks coming up. We'll send it rink wide. Out to center. Big head of steam. Picked the corner, but nobody was there. And that one will carry him all the way back inside the zone. Centering pass into the corner. Rink wide, nobody was there. And so it'll make it 180 feet the other way. 17 seconds to go on the power play for the Eagles. And two minutes and 25 seconds to go here in the second period. Big hit from behind, no call. Play continues. Up from behind the net as the Trojans return to full strength. Across the line, they're going to say it was offsides. At the tail end of their shift, that was Gavin Burris that was offsides, and that'll stop the clock now with 2 minutes and 12 seconds to go. A little conversation there in front of the benches. And right off the draw, that one's going to be picked up by the Eagles and work it inside their own zone before it bounces away. There's Andrew Cotty forcing it inside the clay zone. Back down low to the corner for Lombardo. Stripped away by Minnick as he'll work it off the backhand up the boards and back out to neutral ice. Under two minutes now to go as Cotty steps across the red stripe and forces that one inside the clay zone. And around the Nashers, played at the point, a big tangle up there with Sexton. Physicality up against the Dashers, finally knocked the puck free, right back to Sexton, pulls the trigger, is that save made with a big rebound. Kicks out, and now for Lombardo. Try to centering pass for Gavin Burris, is that backhander knocked away, picked up by the Eagles, and too wide across the Trojans line. Knocked away by... Andrew Condi at the last second before this one forced all the way back into neutral ice. Bouncing puck in front of the bench is making sure there isn't a too many men on the ice penalty. We saw one of those two weeks ago here at home. And so as the clock under a minute now in this second period, Trojans force that one back out of their own zone. Scooped up by the Eagles, centering pass, nobody was there. Even strength hockey as that one collected up into the shoulder pads of Carson Smith. The Trojan is able to wing that one all the way down. Icing signaled and icing called to stop the clock now with 33.7 seconds to go. And the faceoff is going to come back all the way inside the Trojan's end. 33 seconds to go here in the second period. Trojans leading 4-0 on the big board. And game one of a two-game doubleheader today to kick off the Miami Valley Freeze. And right away, Trojans able to get that one out to center ice. Stretch pass. Into Eagle territory. They'll work it up the wall. Back out to center ice. That one's going to be picked up by the Eagles. Walking out, hit the post again! That's the second time the puck has hit that same post. 
And Noah Carver is a very lucky man as that yet another shot off the iron. Shots on goal, 23-17 in favor of Clay. Empty net out on the ice for the other side as they've pulled in favor of the extra attacker and right off the draw. This will do it as the time will wind down. 30 minutes of hockey in the books. The Trojans are going to take their 4-0 lead into the dressing room after two periods. As both teams will head into the dressing room after a very entertaining first two periods from the historic Hobart Arena. We will step aside. When we come back, we'll have more hockey from Hobart and the third period between Troy and Clay. You're watching Troy Trojans Varsity Hockey right here on Troy Ohio TV.
Welcome back inside the historic Hobart Arena. JT Zabba rejoining you during your second intermission. Let's take a look at your scoring summary of the first two periods presented by Clope. It is the Trojans exclusively on the big board as it is a 4-0 Trojan lead after two periods. A big part of that was the first goal from Eli Wenning and then three consecutive goals from Brady Smith as Brady Smith, number eight, picking up the hat trick at home to make it a 4-0 hockey game. And that's where we are as the Zamboni floods the ice here during game one of a two-game doubleheader the Trojans will have. Troy is back in action tonight, a very quick turnaround as they will host the Elder Panthers tonight at 7 o'clock right here at Hobart Arena. And so good seats are still available for $5. Cash is accepted at the front entrance or a weekend pass for just $15. And of course, thanks to the Boosters Association, students are free the entire tournament. So bring your students and have a great night tonight as the Trojans host the Elder Panthers at 7 o'clock. Can't make it? No problem. We'll have that game for you right here on Troy Ohio TV starting at 7 o'clock tonight. We'll send it back for some more spots, and when we come back, we'll have third period action of this game between the Trojans and the Clay Eagles from the historic Hobart Arena. Don't go anywhere.
And welcome back live inside the historic Hobart Arena in downtown Troy. As the players are filing in after a successful second period intermission. A much needed rest for both hockey clubs as they are stretching those legs. Both teams having double headers today. The Trojans hosting the Elder Panthers at 7 o'clock. And a late game for the Clay Eagles as they will play after the Trojans at 9 o'clock today for a nightcap. Of course, two games tomorrow morning as well. First one at 10.15, and the Trojans will play at noon tomorrow. And that will finish off the 2020 Miami Valley Freeze for the first time since 2019. And so as they get set to go, 15 minutes left here in regulation and what has become a very entertaining hockey game. As the Trojans looking to finish this hockey game like we've seen it. Noah Carver headed back into the crease as he has been darn near perfect to this point in the hockey game. And so the opening faceoff is going to be taken by Gavin Burris. And it's won by the Trojans and we're underway. As inside the Eagles out of their own zone. There's a long stretch pass, nearly intercepted by Campbell. Wenning picks it up, gets it back inside the clay zone. And wrap back around. Here's the centering pass. Back to the point, a shot. As Campbell had his st shot stopped at the last second, and that one's going to be up and out of play into the protective mesh. And that'll stop the clock now with 14.23 to go here in regulation. And the faceoff is going to remain inside the Trojans end as Troy gets a few fresh legs out on the ice. And in to take the draw is Brady Smith. As that one won right away and bumped up to neutral ice. Head of steam, there's Carson Smith. Puts on the brakes, a shot, glove down and held on. And a good effort there to stop the clock with 14-12 to go here in the third period. Good effort there from the brotherly duo of Brady and Carson Smith. Getting lots of ice time together this weekend. You love to see the brotherly love. We saw that last weekend at Nationwide during that exhibition game against Worthington Kilbourne. Still people talking about that experience and what a wonderful opportunity it was for the student athletes to play on the NHL ice surface. So we can't thank the Blue Jackets and Worthington Kilbourne quite enough for that opportunity. As the Eagles stretch that one, held on at the point by Smith, doing a little defensive duty. Back down low for Carson Smith, the centering pass. Into the corner, knocked away by the Eagles. That one's going to be held on momentarily at the line before it's picked back up by the Trojans and headmanded ahead off the big hit. Finally picked up and a shot right on. And now an altercation happening at center ice. As quite a lot of emotions running wild there in front of the benches. The officials were right there to make the call. And it looks like it's going to be matching penalties for roughing with 13-17. They're going to remain five on five. And the Trojans are not happy with that call. 
Head coach Rick Zaba wanting an explanation from the official why there wasn't an additional penalty for instigation. As clearly that was the Eagles who started that altercation. There should be an additional minor tacked on to the clay player. That was number six, Xander Kurt. And it does not look like we're going to get it. And so it is what it is, as they say. Matching minors is all that's going to come of it with 13-17 to go here in the third period. Brady Smith is in the box, two minutes for roughing. Kurt is in the box, two minutes for roughing. And we're going to stay five on five. And the Eagles will win the draw. Quickly around back out to center ice. Intercepted. That could have been offsides, but they're going to force that one down low into the corner. Holding on to that one. Eagles are going to control. Back inside their own zone. There's a long stretch pass. Picked up in through center ice. Stymied through the middle and finally held on to by the goaltender, Noah Carver. And a good effort right there. Essentially what double teamed. The attacking forward on the play. And right off the draw, this one picked up by Lombardo. Leaves it off behind the net for Berghart. One touch out. All the way back inside play territory. Racing back to get it is Tegemeyer with the puck. Sends it ahead. Bouncing puck back inside Troy End where Berghardt plays it. Off a of four check and around the Dashers. Cleared all the way down and both clubs will get changes as it'll be played by Tigemeyer out of his own zone. On this forward attempt. Across the Trojans line, in on sign, drops back into the corner, centering feed, knocked away at the last second by Sexton. A clearing pass hit off a skate down low. And so they'll regroup out of the corner. Centering pass again, knocked away at the last second. And now here comes the Trojans. Out through center ice and across the line is Carson Smith who plays it back down low. Loose puck on the side of the cage. Picked up by the Eagles. Big check, knocked the puck loose. Back for Smith. He gets hit off the puck but makes the play as it gets back down. Now for Schumann to drive, low. Rebound, side of the cage. Wenning takes a tumble. As physicality certainly not in short supply here in this third period. Back ahead, Ian Francis not in on side a shot. Rebound knocked away in the slot as that one's going to be cleared. All the way down is back to get it. And so icing signaled and icing the call. And that'll bring the face off back inside the Clay Eagle zone at 11-12 to go here in the third period. Trojans holding on to that 4-0 lead. And so on the line change. Trojans sneaking a couple extra players out on this one with the face off inside the Eagle zone. Gabby Paff forces it back into the corner. As here comes Clay out to center ice and across the Trojans line. Forcing it rink wide. Top of the circle picked up by Burris. He'll hold on to it before he'll send it rink wide now for Harris. Out to center ice. Luke Harris across the line in on side. Drops it back in a big high shot. Up into the nosebleeds to stop the clock with 10 minutes and 46 seconds to go. Another souvenir puck up and out of play as you see the kids running for it right there. Always makes a great souvenir, especially after the game if you come down and get that one autographed. A lot of youth hockey players in attendance today for this matinee. Always glad to see the Bruins out, as well as a lot of students from the Troy schools. As they'll force that one in, a shot high, wide off the... And Glass, they'll work it up to the point. Intercepted. As Berghardt got knocked down at the last second. They'll play it around the Dashers. Forcing it again. Up against the wall. Still trying to chip it. And finally does, as that's going to squirt out to Berghardt. 
So he's able to get that one out to center ice. Icing signaled but waved off as it's going to be touched up by the Eagles. And here's Francis Knott centering pass it in front. Nearly tried to connect down low with Smith. It wasn't to be. As the Eagles now too wide across the Trojans lot. Intercepted, nearly got a piece of it. They'll work it back to center ice. Trojans at their own line, forcing it ahead. Nobody was there as it was the tail end of their change. And we'll do this one again. Here's Tegemeyer, a shot wide. Rebound back to the far boards. Still battling along the half boards. That one clears out to center ice. Still there, rebound, loose puck in the shot made as Burris had the shot. And the faceoff is going to remain inside the Eagle zone. And the shot right on, turned aside, rebound, kicks back to the corner. On this low cycle now for Lombardo. Again at the point and held on. Good effort to force that one right back in. Even strength hockey, still nine minutes and three seconds to go here in regulation. There's Gavin Burris, a shot. Loose puck on the side of the cage. Nearly got something going, but it wasn't enough. As Eagles now across the Trojans' line. With a head of steam, Carver has it, and he goes into the net. It looked like he might have tried to take the puck with him. But if anybody deserves getting a scratch off after this game, it would be Noah Carver. The amount of luck that he has had rained down on him from the hockey gods during this hockey game. Quite impressive. I will be asking him for tonight's Powerball numbers, if nothing else. And so right from the faceoff, this one controlled by the Eagles, down low, centering pass, paddled away by Carver. Loose puck still in the slot, picked back up by the Eagles, but that one goes just wide through the blue paint. Traveling again, off the near side on this headman pass, gets it ahead now for Smith. Turned aside, loose puck, bounces below the circle, and now the Eagles will get this one down, and icing is signaled. Icing the call with 8.11 to go. Here in this third period, again, the Trojans back in action tonight in primetime. A 7 o'clock faceoff here at home as they host the Elder Panthers in their game two of the Miami Valley Freeze Invitational. We'll have that game for you here live on Troy, Ohio TV if you can't make it out. Although it is a beautiful Saturday night for some hockey along the banks of the Great Miami River. So this one played back to the point. Now a one-on-one -on -one the other way for the Eagles. Tiedemeyer tried to get something fancy going. And icing signaled, icing the call. Nifty little toe drag if it would have worked. Uh, just had other ideas, I think. 24-21 shots on goal. Still in favor of the Eagles as they trail 4-0 against the Trojans. That was a fast break the other way for Troy. Inside the zone, centering pass, paddle to side, loose puck off the high glass. They'll work it down low into the corner. Here's Gavin Burris, impossible angle shot, hit off a skate in front. He'll work it back to the point, a shot, Sexton one-timer. Rebound, regrouped by the Eagles, and out they come. Turned over, just at the top of the circles. Trojans stretching that one out to neutral ice. And holding on to it is Lombardo, who's able to force that one just inside the clay zone for it slapped back out. Seven minutes and three seconds and counting here in this third period of regulation as that one's going to be smothered and held on to. And 
And the faceoff should remain inside the play zone with 6.58 to go here in the third. As you see, line changes for both teams as this faceoff. Be taken by Gabby Paff for the Trojans. Or will it as she's ejected from the draw? Swooping in is Will Barnes. As this one want back in from behind the net. Paff with the puck. Gets it back into the corner. Is the bouncing puck. Now for Harrison Drive. Low on the ice. Just missed wide. Get it back for Barnes who throws it quickly into the corner for this cycle for Harris. Picking up the loose puck and finally that intended pass for Paff is held on to. A good team effort there on that low cycle. Especially with Will Barnes working to headman that one with Harris. And of course you've got Gabby floating there on the side of the cage all around a great shift there. As the Eagles on this breakout attempt, too wide at center. Across the Trojans line, a shot. Carver got a brief glimpse of it with his shoulder. That one will carry him all the way back out to neutral ice. As now a two on one the other way. For the Trojans, a shot and a save. And a big hit from behind. Way away from the play. There's going to be a penalty on this one for sure as a hit way behind the play. Interference is the best you could call that one. As he didn't have anywhere near the puck and fortunately he went in backwards and didn't hit his head too hard, but a very dangerous hit, especially so far behind the play. And so that'll give the Trojans a much deserved power play. Stringers in the box for interference. I would have given them five for boarding, but to each their own. As they work it back to the point. Didn't like that shot. Sexton's got time. Top of the star. Sends it back. One touch. Right back. Over for Berghardt. Rebound. Loose puck. As the net was knocked off. Play continues, though, as they work it back around. Forcing it again to the near side. Here's Sexton. Top of the point, give and go, right back for Sexton. On the power play, he'll send it back for Burris into the corner. Here's a one time, a bit too rich for him. So we'll set that one up for Smith. One time back for Sexton, give and go to Smith. Now to Sexton, low on the ice. That one hit a shin pad in front. And the Trojans force that one deep back inside the Play zone, 5.05 to go in regulation, 55 seconds to go on the Trojan power play as that long shot was turned around. And they'll force that one ahead. Across the line, in on side. Gets it back down low, centering feed. Not enough there as back to help out is Cooper Sexton. Wrapping around the Dashers. On the power play, sends it to the point as Smith is able to hold it in and chips it momentarily before this one will clear all the way down. Just 18 seconds to go on the penalty for the Eagles in this Trojans power play presented by Klopek. Fresh legs, seven seconds and counting, 4.15 in regulation as the Trojans We'll ice this one all the way down. Icing signaled, icing the call. And that'll bring the face off back inside the Trojans end. Just at the tail end of that penalty, right when it expired, that's when they were able to ice it. And so that's what the call was stemming from. As the Eagles will win this draw cleanly back to the point, a shot scores! Xander Kurt, a shot from the point, right from the draw. And so the goal right from the 
face off to the point as he will make this a three goal deficit a 4-1 hockey game we'll go downstairs for the official announcement Xander Kurt unassisted is what they're going to call this one as he's going to force that one around back out to center ice Here's Ian Francis Knott, forces that one back into the corner. Back to the point, held on. Here's Smith, back for Francis, not a shot as that one turned aside. And the outlet pass to center ice, gobbled up by Brady Campbell. Able to force that one just inside Clay territory as he blows a tire on the play. Smith. Lost his balance, but regains the puck. Shoots off the side of the post. And that, I think, the third post ringer we've seen in this hockey game. As Clay coming back with a little bit of gusto here in the waning moments of the third period. Not giving up, certainly, in physicality or scoring opportunities. As the Trojans in front of the benches battling for it. Eagles will get it just over the Trojan line. Still trying to look for a back pass. Finally do. As it's knocked away, Trojans work that one ahead to center. Inside play territory. Bouncing puck off an eagle. Play continues on side. Catching the Trojans on a line change. They'll work that one over the line. Still with it, top of the farm circle. Sends that drop pass, intercepted by... Cooper Sexton, and now with a head of steam, here he comes. Over the line, three wide. Sets up in the circle, down low. Throws on the brakes. He's got Wenning in the crease. Works it back into the far side. Getting hooked the whole way, still maintains possession. Sends it across, right back for Burris, a shot high. Locker pad save made, big rebound kicks out. Inside Trojan territory now, approaching 90 seconds to go in this regulation. Trojans holding on to a 4-1 lead now, as they'll work it off that high shot, low and around. Now for Gavin Burris, top of the circle, bouncing pocket head eyes, and just somehow was able to deflect up and above the net. Good effort there by the Trojans as they'll work this pressure deep inside the zone, rebound, side of the cage. 116 and counting as they'll play it around the boards. Still there as the Eagles will work it out to center ice. Shot, save, Carver, loose puck, finally gobbled up. And he had the right idea. 101 to go here in the third period. It looks like the faceoff will remain inside the Trojan zone. And right from the draw, scooped up by Tigermeyer for the Eagles. Tries to get too fancy again. And he loses the puck as this one works its way out to neutral ice. Played at the Eagles line. Sends it all the way back inside Troy territory. Under a minute to go here in the third as icing signaled, icing the call as Gabby Path gave a chase. And the faceoff comes again inside the Trojans' end. 41.3 seconds to go here. And right from the faceoff, Trojans able to ice it all the way down to the empty net, nearly getting a piece of it. The Eagles pulling their goaltender in favor of the extra attacker. And so with the extra body, face off, controlled by the Trojans, back into the corner. 
Here's Burghardt. Hit with a high stick, but play continues as it's touched up. Back into the near corner. Centering feed, Carver the stop. And he'll stop it with 18.9 seconds to go. Still an empty net on the other side as the Eagles are electing to pull their netminder. With the shot right from the faceoff. The second time they've done that, that was Brady Cook. Top of the slot. And right from the faceoff, they cut the lead back down to two. 16 seconds to go. I don't think it's going to matter in the grand scheme of things, but... The Trojans definitely letting them come back, inching their way a little closer than maybe it could have been. Still work it back into the corner. That one played wide. Rebound down, five seconds and counting as the Eagles one last hurrah across the line. And that'll do it. The Trojans pick up the win. They certainly made it a little interesting there at the end, didn't they? Nonetheless, the final score today in game one of a two-game doubleheader, the Trojans hold on to the win. A 4-2 to two final score for your afternoon matinee between the Trojans and the Clay Eagles. And so both teams will be treated to a wonderful pizza buffet provided by the Troy High School Hockey Boosters Association as they rest up for game two later this evening. Like we said, the Trojans will face off against the Elder Panthers tonight at seven o'clock, whereas the Eagles have Mason tonight at 9.45. Of course, we'll have the Trojan versus the Panther game for you live right here on Troy Ohio TV, streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube. And of course, tickets, just $5 at the gate, cash accepted. I know a lot of people asked about that. Cash accepted at the gate for this tournament. And students are free. Well, that just about does it from the historic Hobart Arena for our game one afternoon matinee. The Trojans pull out a four to two victory over the Clay Eagles. And now it's time to rest up. We'll see you back here at Hobart Arena at 7 o'clock tonight, either on Troy Ohio TV or in person for our entire intrepid crew, Lily, Riley, and of course, John Wyatt and Rhino. I'm JT Zabo. We'll see you tonight. Go Trojans.